A warm welcome to you all. We will be on the way very shortly once all the pleasantries are complete. And here we have Manchester against Chelsea. My name's Peter Drury, and here's my co commentator for the game, it's Jim Beglin. Hi, Peter, it's great to be here. So, this is round two between these two sides who have already met once this season. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Well, Vasson Company, for me, is a player of, of true substance. He's a, he's a powerhouse defender, not easy to outpace, and he has the confidence to step into midfield with the ball and, and see what develops. I think he's about as solid as they come. Yeah, I must agree, especially in view of his ability to lead and organise the defence. Has he found his man? That's Piliqueta. Aimed in towards the centre. Yeah, he's offering an apology for that. He needed to deliver a better ball. <laughs> Manchester have the league's best defensive record. Yaya Toure. Manchester get it back again. It's one. Conte tries to get it forward quickly. As Piliqueta. Can he finish? Oh, that probably deserved better. Manchester didn't really deal with the wide play. It was a, a lovely dribble down the flank, but really they've got a double up to try and stop that. And I think with the attempted goal too, they were a little fortunate. Tries a through ball. De Bruyne showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball, but couldn't quite sort it out. And it's Aspilicueta. Chelsea were imperious when the two sides last met. And the fans are asking for more of the same. Can he find a finish now? <laughs> it's 
thrust towards the front line. Now it's Ayu. They've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Big chance here! Oh, nearly, but nearly is nothing. Well, if he hopes to do better than that, he's got to work on his technique and his timing. The contact wasn't right there, so there wasn't much chance of success. Higuain, he's away! Deftly done. Cut out in the nick of time. The ball's come loose, and the chase is on. Has a look and has a go. Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Oh, much more than a, than a routine save for me, and, and yet he just coped with, with room to spare. Aimed long and direct. Koulibaly. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. I timed this run brilliantly, and I think he has every right to be a little annoyed with, with the passer then, and I think he's letting him know right now about that. Just a little more behind it was needed. Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. And the defence can get it clear. Plays it out to the flank. Point blank header! Oh, great save, real class. Well, I can only add that he's got reflexes that are in perfect working order, Peter. That was very good to watch. It so nearly came off for him. It's tremendous play on his part, Peter, and he's... Whistle's gone, that's a uh, foul. He's going to have to tune his rangefinder before the next one. Tries to dink it in. And it's Aguero. Locks it towards the front. Iguain. Company. Conte gets it back. Kennedy goes wide. Cross deflected behind for a corner. Now the pass. Spoon forward. He's got through. Now it's Aguero. Aguero. I just think his options were an irrelevance, so he had every right to do what he did. Kennedy, played in by Kennedy. He scored! Well, players of his stature just live for moments like that. Another really important contribution as we near half-time, and it can make such an impact on each mindset. Oh, super header, wonderfully acrobatic. He had a shot. Oh, that's a foul, free kick's been given. the end of the first half, we'll do it back on the first 45 minutes. Well, you can debate, Peter, whether they deserve a slightly bigger lead because they've created the majority of the chances, but they are in front for a reason, and they'll be confident of, of cementing that from now. Chelsea heads to the dressing room in possession of a 1-0 lead. That gets things going for the second half. Chelsea carry a one-goal lead into the second half. Chelsea looking to put things right here following their narrow defeat. And that's been repelled. William passes it through. Not the worst cross in the world, but still room for improvement. Now surely! He's got away with one there. 
I love to see a team closing down from the front like that, and I think they did brilliant to win it back and get the shot away. They've come out of the dressing room firing on all cylinders now. We could be in for quite a second half here. Great reaction! Oh, what a hit! What a hit! About as smooth as it gets! Oh, listen, the writing was on the wall. It looked like this was going to happen, and it has. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Yeah, it's a very good contest with two very good sides and with such great individual talent on show, it could go either way. De Bruyne, now it's Aguero. Big chance, must be! There it is! Well, this guy is just not your average footballer. Alert and sharp. And while one or two others were still digesting the manager's half-time team talk, he's already delivering another lead. What a good player. Really outwitted one-on-one. -on -one. Once more, he gets the better of the keeper. Oh, that's excellent composure because the keeper put as much pressure on as he could by not committing sooner. Manchester take the lead. Look, he's the one everyone expects to put the ball in the net. That's what he's paid to do. Looks like a good ball through. And the header! Went with his head but couldn't steer it in. Diego Costa pushes to get on the end of it. Good idea, just poorly executed. Oh, the ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. This defence is, is wary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight? Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. It's broken loose! De Bruyne goes long and forward. Higuain. Oh, good interception. Yaya Toure. Chelsea may be thinking about substitutions now. They still have two available. Lam. De Bruyne. Steered out wide. Kennedy gets into a good position. Played in by Kennedy. This could fall anywhere. No, oh, poor contact, nothing on the shot. OK, they've got nothing to show for it, but that was a really incisive counter-attack, and it's hard to defend against that type of breakaway. Well, the referee's pulled play back and has booked him for the original offence. Managed to get it away. Forward it goes. Hits it first time! Fair effort, he reacted well. Yeah, and it all came from very good trickery in the, in the wider position, but quite a static defence was pretty fortunate to survive that little episode. It should have been much worse. Kolarov gets into the right position to intercept. Nothing wrong with that tackle. Ball won cleanly. Looks to slip it through. Not much subtlety. He's launched himself there. Lovely bit of skill. De Bruyne. Towering header! He will be livid with himself. Played out to the wing. Really didn't have enough to concern the defence. Sterling pumps it forwards. Some excellent tackling here, and that one a perfect example. Out towards the flank. De Bruyne. Bravo gets it upfield. Moses, Conte, 
Kennedy gets it, and now what? Saved it! That's gone a long way up and away. And that really should have hit the net. Zabaleta into a minimum of four minutes additional time. Moses with the ball through. And it's Aguero. It's a loose ball. Koulibaly. Cahill pumps it upfield. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Now it's Aguero. William looks like a good ball through. The final whistle. Well, that is truly disappointing. It is a results business, and this result is worth nothing.